just walked into my bedroom. It's Captain America <laughs> here to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go save people. Okay. Look who just walked in. It's Raya. You guys are pretty good at playing dress up. You guys are the cutest Captain America and Raya I have ever seen. Peter's in the bathroom using the potty and he's making a lot of noise in there. I wonder what he's doing. Peter, what you doing? Hey guys, it is Tuesday. It has been a crazy day. I've spent the majority of the day cleaning the house, doing a lot of the deep cleaning. Now that I finally have that done, um, I just went to go pick up Peter at school. His teacher mentioned to me as they were walking out that he had to use the bathroom more than usual. And when I got him home, he said, I'm gonna go lay down. And that's not usual for him. Um, sometimes he'll ask for a snack or he'll ask for his tablet, a little bit of tablet time before Jane gets home, but he didn't do that. So he went upstairs and crawled into my bed and took a very long nap. Um, he was actually in and out of sleep, but he, uh, he took a very long nap. And since his behavior was very unusual, um, and even though he kept on saying that he was feeling fine, I checked his temperature and it's at 102. So gave him some medicine. I have a cold compress on his head and he's resting. Now, Adam has a job where he cannot have his phone during the day at all. He doesn't have a clue what's going on here and I have no way of getting in touch with him um, unless I call his squadron and try to get a hold of him that way. Uh, but I actually do not have the correct number for that. So um, I left him a text and hopefully he will uh, get it when he gets to the car in about an hour. I asked him to go ahead and pick up Jane so that Peter can remain on the couch and he doesn't have to move. So hopefully he gets out of work right on the dot so that he gets that message. Otherwise we will have to move Peter into the car and try to go get Jane and hopefully this, the heat outside, it's about 100 degrees outside, won't impact him. But let's, let's see how he's doing. You okay, buddy? Mm -hmm. You feeling better? Is that helping? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still sick. You are still sick. You'll be sick for a little bit, okay? But we're gonna make you feel better. Is this falling down? There we go. What are you watching? Spidey. Spidey. Okay. Well, mommy's gonna leave you alone and let you rest, okay? Okay. Just made Peter a peanut butter and honey sandwich. So it's a good thing that you're hungry. That means that you're getting a little bit better, right, buddy? Mm -hmm. Are you feeling a little bit better? Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. Look who's feeling so much better today. How you feeling, buddy? Uh, my throat is still sick. Your throat is still sick? Uh -huh. But does your body feel better? Uh, no. No. <laughs> but does my forehead feel better? Yeah. The fever broke yesterday. And Peter's feeling so much better. We kept him home from school today, so he's going to hang out with me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! So you can see it right there, three stacks of grass. They're going to bring it on into the backyard, lay it all down. Hopefully it'll make our backyard look much better than it does right now. Everything is pretty much dead. And uh, they told us to stop watering because it could create a lot of mud when they bring everything in and start doing the work out there. So the grass that's currently there and growing is dying really quickly. So 
hopefully <laughs> this fixes the issue and we don't run into more problems, but we'll see. It'd be really nice to have green grass again. We haven't had a really nice looking lawn since we left Wisconsin and there it was so moist. We didn't have to water or really do anything other than cut the lawn every week. I, I really miss that. It has been one crazy morning. Peter stayed home with me today because he wasn't feeling good yesterday. And we decided to make our way to the post office to collect our mail since we still don't have a mailbox up and running on our street. So absolutely everybody on our street has no mailbox. We have to keep running on over to the post office a few times a week to get our mail. Uh, hopefully that'll change soon. We're crossing our fingers, but the post office is blaming it on the builder and the builder is blaming it on the post office and who knows who's at fault right now <laughs> at this point, but all I want is a mailbox right down the street from my house. But anyways, Peter and I were on our way to the post office when I got a notification from our ring doorbell that someone rang our doorbell. So I was able to pull over, uh, turn on the camera for the doorbell and I saw that someone was at the front door and I was kind of watching and seeing who it might be. And then I saw guys starting to load grass, the grass that's in our front yard onto wheelbarrows and start taking them to the backyard. So <laughs> I immediately started fuming. I got so upset, like, what are these guys thinking to go into our backyard without any permission? We ended up making our way back home. By the time I got home, I saw that they had opened our side gate and had already taken all the grass to the backyard and was laying it down. And I kind of sneaked up on them because they were joking around and having a good old time back there in my backyard. And uh, when they noticed that I was standing there, one guy came up and said, oh, hello, ma'am. We're laying down your grass. I'm like, I see that. Uh, who gave you permission to go into my backyard when I wasn't home? And the looks on all of their faces just changed. Uh, they instantly got this look like they were in a whole lot of trouble and um, I ended up talking to the person in charge and he was very apologetic that he got his days mixed up. But uh, still, it does not give them the right to trespass when I'm not home without permission to go into my backyard. I don't like confrontation. I'm not a confrontational person so when I do have to be a little bit rough around the edges. Um, it's a very uncomfortable position for me, but um, I feel like it was it was needed today. You don't go into someone's backyard, regardless if you have a job to do, without permission from that person. So I'm curious if any of you guys have dealt with that before. The grass is looking better. Um, I'll show you guys that in a moment. Uh, they're watering it right now. Is it yummy? Yummy? Mmm. Jane, what do you have? Chips, a sample? Mmm. Mom, maybe swatch your phone. No, we're almost done. You guys are being really good in here. I really appreciate it. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh no, we're gonna run into something. <laughs> You still have ice cream on your mouth. Yep, you still have ice cream on your mouth too. Oh, don't touch your mouth. No bubbles in the house, please, girl. No bubbles in the house. Adam's on his way home, so we're gonna have, what are we having for dinner? having paschetti. So I asked Jane to bring the toilet paper up to my bathroom and this is how she brought it up. You even unwrapped each roll. You took all the paper off each roll. Mm -hmm. Is this where the toilet paper goes? Is this where it goes? Yeah? Oh. Maybe we're gonna have to find a space for it under the sink. And this is where Jane put her toilet papers. She was kind of right. Jane, honey, that needs to go underneath the sink, okay? Let's go adventure in the deep blue sea. 
hope lives with you.